Following the recent losses sustained by the Wagner Group in Mali, the Kremlin will need to undertake a large-scale replacement of its mercenaries in Africa with soldiers from the Russian Defense Ministry's African Corps. Meanwhile, part of this corps has recently been redeployed to the Kharkiv region to support the offensive actions of the occupying forces according to the Institute for the Study of War. Several prominent Russian military bloggers critical of the Kremlin claim that the Russian Defense Ministry is taking pleasure in the Wagner Group's losses and suggest that the Russian military leadership may use this incident as a pretext to halt the deployment of Wagner mercenaries in the Sahel and fully replace them with units from the African core of the Russian Ministry of Defense. Some Russian bloggers have cited an unnamed source within Putin's administration indicating that the personnel of the African Corps will replace Wagner forces across the Sahel trio, Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger. The Institute for the Study of War speculates that the African Corps may currently lack the capacity to adequately replace the Wagner Group, especially in Mali, as elements of the Corps were recently deployed to Ukraine to participate in offensive operations in the northern Kharkiv region. Supplanting Wagner at scale following losses such as those accrued in the recent ambush would likely involve redeploying some African core fighters to Mali away from the front line in Ukraine and the Russian military command likely does not see completely supplanting Wagner in Mali or elsewhere in the Sahel as a priority effort at this time. The ISW report states. On July the 27th, Tuareg rebels from the CSP-PSD movement showcased photos and videos of a destroyed Wagner convoy in Mali. The fighting took place in the town of Tinswatan near the Mali-Algeria border on July the 25th and 26th. At least 20 Wagner fighters were killed and those who survived the battle were taken prisoner. The Defense Intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine has announced the continuation of successful actions against Russian war criminals from the Wagner Group in Africa. Thousands of firefighters battling a massive Northern California wildfire were working in milder temperatures and higher humidity Monday but the blaze that has destroyed more than 100 structures since it began five days ago continues to grow. The Park Fire, which officials said was started by a man who pushed a flaming car into a gully, grew slightly overnight to 368,000 acres, some 575 square miles. The sixth-largest wildfire in state history is rolling through a remote area some 180 miles northeast of San Francisco, according to Cal Fire. Crews were still in for quite a firefight today, just because of the sheer magnitude and the sheer size of the fire, said Dan Collins, a Cal Fire captain, noting that temperatures were to be in the high 80s with 25% humidity during the day. Trevor Skaggs, who is on a search and rescue team at the Butte County Sheriff's Office, found the Rottweilers on Saturday, alive, but tired and very thirsty, although the adult male dog did not survive. Though the remote area was not immediately accessible as the fire rapidly spread, Mr. Skaggs was flown by helicopter to a nearby point on Saturday and then ran to the location, according to police. After finding the animals, he fed them water and bites from his protein bar, before leading them back to his helicopter. The dogs were later flown to Chico Airport and are now in the care of the North Valley Animal Disaster Group, a local animal rescue organization. It's been a horrific few days for our community and we are grateful to be able to share this amazing story, the sheriff's office said. Yeah.